Do you have a price in mind for all the CDs? Looking for the treasure, man. For three dollars, I paid. I should be able to get at least sixty for it. That's crazy, right? <laughs> I would say that this little TiVo thing is a home run because I paid twenty dollars more. What are you doing the CDs for? CDs and DVDs are a quarter each. Okay. Blu-rays are 50 cents. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a price in mind for all the CDs? For all the CDs? Yeah. All these are mostly, uh, well, those are like rock, right? For those and that, probably five bucks for everything. Five bucks? Okay. Do you have any, uh, like vinyl records by any chance? Those sold yesterday. Oh, okay. Got change for a 20 for the CDs? You all set there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No video games, right? Ah, uh, that stuff I sell separate. Yeah, I got you. I go through it and uh, that stuff, get, I can get, I get good money for yeah, that I stuff. Yeah, I bet, yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, you, have a good you too. Good luck with the sale. Looking for the treasure, man. Gonna be in here. Vintage t-shirts. Where they at? Where they at, man? I have never bought a stein. I'm not starting today. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these magic cards because there's some that says 1993. And I don't know, man. Could be good. Cuanto para el, el Wii? I'm asking 20. 20? Yeah. Okay. You do 15? Huh? 15? Okay. Okay. And how much for these cards right here? Don't give me a dollar. I think there's more over there. Check more in the, in the boxes. Okay, I'll check. ¿Y cuánto para? La gorra, la gorra como. ¿Cuánto? Let me ask. Uh -huh. Okay, este es de mi. Si quiere plato o servilleta. Three. She said there might be some more magic cards. Imagine. Yep, that's all it took for me to spend the next 15 minutes going through all those bins, man. She had like 10 to 15 bins out, and I went through every single one looking for these magic cards. And guess what? She tells me that it was in the bin that I found the other ones. <laughs> it's all good because I enjoy doing what I'm doing. And I found this little computer anyway. USB type C to Tu as por razón sabe dónde tuviste la carta esa. Ahí es que la busqué. ¿Y cuántos para Lo va, lo... Creo que ella dijo a tres. ¿sí? A tres. Ajá. Mami, toma. Mami, tómale fotos a las dos umbrelas para la señora. Toma.
Esto tenemos aquí eh, 30 y 20, 50. 50 para ti. Sí. Tremenda ganga de que. Y, para, y esta es tu gorra Mía también. también. Serían 35 los tuyos y los dos pesos yo te los voy a dar porque no tengo cambio ahorita de estar todo yo aquí. Serían 35, 5 dale. At a rummage sale, not looking good outside. Let's see if inside is any good. No. Uh, I found this so far. That's why you gotta scan something. Right. The old system. I'm sure it's gonna be sent here. All right, just the uh, Carcassonne for three dollars. I paid. I should be able to get at least sixty for it. It's crazy, right? <laughs> I am here at Goodwill. As you can see, the cloud is looking crazy, so there isn't much garage sales today. Let's see if we could go in this store and make some money, baby. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick up this TiVo. charging $19.99 and it is brand new in here brand new sealed I did open it to check it it's got this uh, TV slide remote and it looks like brand new is going for like a hundred eighty to a hundred dollars and none of them have that little slide remote so I'm not even sure what that's going for Let's see if I can pull it up. It looks like I could get like fifty dollars, fifty to eighty dollars just for the remote. What? Let's go. I'm gonna pick up these two stacks of CDs right here. Some he heavy metal. Surprisingly, got a bullet for a Pretty Boy, Tiff for King, P.O.D. Murder Love, The Darkest Days. Got some some uh, Lecrae. They're gonna be a dollar a piece, so I, I pulled out the ones that I'm not gonna end up getting. These four I ended up uh, putting off the side. All these are heavy metal, and I got 18, I believe. So 18 dollars here, and I'll probably try to sell it all together for like 50 to 100 dollars. I would say that this little TiVo thing is a home run because I paid $20 and I should be able to get in between $150 to $200. Score. Let's go on to the next one, man. How you doing? How's it going? How much are you uh, doing the shoes for? So, those because you know about shoes, you know those are kind the, of expensive. The so Nike. Those, $45. Everything else. You can make me an offer like those 25, these ten dollars. Gotcha. Ten, twenty-five. That's the forty. Forty-five or 45. forty, forty. Yeah. Up. And then the champions. Somebody said she's coming back to get them. It's two pairs. The other ones are white. Same ones. Um, thirty bucks. Thirty bucks a piece. Yeah. Gotcha. No, thirty bucks for the for, for, the, for the two pairs. Low for them. Yeah. Okay. Huh? That's a seatback machine. Oh, gotcha. And how much uh you want for it? Uh, and how much you doing the Gracie uniform for? The gi? The gi, yeah. Uh, give me, so, are you interested in both? Yeah, that and the champion, both of the champion shoes. Did you do the shoes and, and this for 50? So the shoes, I'm, I gotta wait for this lady to- Oh, you're this. not, you're not gonna- No, no, gonna no, I'm gonna sell them, but this lady, um, she went, she took one pair to see if it fit her son. Oh. <laughs> so, unless you just want one pair. For 15? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so sure. So that 100, 105 for for, for all, all three of, of it? Yeah. All right, so how much is this for the shoes and uh, the CPAP machine? So can you do 50 for those two things? Uh, yeah, let's do it. You got change for 60, so it's 56. Did you guys get the curtains? 
So these these are you wore these? Those I did. Okay. The other ones I didn't. Yeah, I'll I'll just grab the new ones. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Hey, no problem. You have a good day and good luck with the sale, man. All right, honestly, that turned out a lot better than I expected. I did want to mention that I did go back to that guy with that CPAP machine because I checked that box more thoroughly and there wasn't an AC adapter for the CPAP machine in there and then had a very weird connection. So I did not want to take the time to actually look for that AC adapter. So I just went back to that man's house and just explain to him that I did not want the CPAP machine any any longer. $35 for something I can't even test? Nah, we're we gonna have to go get that money back. As you can see, I've picked up a lot of CDs. I love selling media just because how easy it is to store and how easy it is to list media. Anything from DVDs to uh, vinyl records to CDs, anything media related that I love finding that stuff and that's why i picked up that big old tub or that big old bin full of uh, cds most of that stuff was rock so i haven't looked all that stuff up yet but i am pretty sure that there's going to be at least one to two or three uh ten dollar uh cds in there maybe there might be one that's worth more you never know with that either way um if there's not anything crazy valuable i'll just lot all that stuff together from that first sale and sell it as a bundle and usually that does very well for me you can either sell it on ebay or facebook marketplace facebook marketplace you're probably going to get a lower premium uh, but that might be the route i go try to pull out all the best stuff out of there and then just post a big lot on Facebook Marketplace. But the CDs that were in Goodwill, they were uh, pretty good. It was all heavy metal. There was 18 CDs in there and all those popped for at least $10 a piece. And I'm actually gonna sell these two separately. This is uh, uh, some heavy metal as well. And these two, I could probably get about $25 to $30. And then the other 16, I will sell for $5 a piece as a lot to give somebody a deal and to uh, get them moving pretty quickly. All right, but the big win was actually at that second yard sale with those ladies that have like yard sales every other week. They actually buy storage units and sell stuff from those yard sales and they also be at the flea market. But the thing about that is that you would expect them to be charging some crazy prices, but they get so much stuff that they cannot afford to be holding on to stuff. They just wanna get stuff moving. So a lot of times they have underpriced stuff like this Lakers hat from 1996 draft day. This thing is going brand new for $75 to $100 and it's Mitchell and Ness. And it's, it's actually pretty clean, man. I'm actually gonna just go ahead and rock it for the rest of the video. I got it for $3 and I should be able to get anywhere between $20 to $30, no problem. It's pretty clean and it might just stay in, in my closet, really. But the real but the real home run was this Janet Jackson vinyl I got. It is brand new sealed. And as you can see from the comps that I showed earlier, this thing is going for $100 pre-owned. And there's like four of these actually listed right now. The brand new ones, they're charging in between 200 and 250. So honestly, I think I'm gonna go ahead and shoot for the sky on this one because this is brand new. It does have some uh, tears right here but it does have the hype sticker. This thing is, like I said, it was going, it, it did sell for over a hundred dollars pre-owned. I think I should be able to get in between 150 to 250, no problem. I think I'm gonna put it up for like $200 to tell you the truth. And it's actually Sunday the next week. I went to yard sales yesterday and I found some crazy stuff. That video is gonna be out next week. And while you wait for that video, you might as well click on one of these videos. I have a big catalog of videos. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, make sure to stay on your grind and make that money, baby.